اللهم يا من جعلت السحر ابتلاء فأنت برحمتك لن تنسانا وأنت جل جل الحمد لله الولي المتقين حق من عبد وأكرم من سئل والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء سراجا منيرا أما بعد الحمد لله ثم الحمد لله for Allah giving me this opportunity again today to narrate to you about to give you reminders where the reminders will benefit believers and these reminders are very very important to the believing men and women so inshallah the first reminder i will give you is that allah rabbul izza says in the quran أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اركعوا واسجدوا واعبدوا وعبدوا ربكم وافعلوا الخير لعلكم تفلحون او يو بيليف اركعوا بروستريت واسجدوا دو سجود وعبدوا وشب ربكم يا لورد اركعوا اسجدوا وعبدوا ربكم يا لورد And then what goes on is وَفْعَلُوا الْخَيْرَ And do good Good things Righteous actions لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ So you may be successful Now success is in this Prostrating Sujood to your Lord Worshipping your Lord by making, calling upon Allah, making dua, making dhikr, and do righteous things. Now you'll find a lot of people who've got issues and who don't have no issues. This, وَفْعَلُوا الْخَيْرَ is so difficult for them to do it. Absolutely, they can pray, they can worship, uh, they can do ruku', they can do sujood, they can worship Allah. But waf'alu al-khayr is so difficult for them. So inshallah, pay attention into this. It's very, very important. Very, very important as a believing man and woman to do good things, righteous things to human beings. And for your own good. This is just a reminder, short reminder of this ayah. We go on to the reminder of today. The reminder of today, of this video, is that the one, the evil people, they absolutely don't know how to stop. Their mission will never stop until they get to you. Until they find a way to nail you. Now what they will do, they will find different, different method. And one of the method is like this. Post. Sending letter to you. This letter, you can vividly see clearly the stumps of Bangladesh. This letter came from Mulvi Bazaar. When the brother, the family received this letter straight away, they knew what it is and straight away they send it to me. And they told me and I told him, can you send it or bring it? And they, alhamdulillah, they brought it. This is a letter came from Bangladesh. When they saw it, they were worried. And they thought, who could have sent something to us? Or they had a feeling this is something else. And what they did is they straight away brought it to me by the will of Allah, Rabbul Izzah. Now a story comes to mind, two stories come to mind. 
one is happened to a somali sister she received a letter from the letter box the black magic of letter box she went and took the letter opened the letter nothing was in the letter there was just a blank paper inside the letter inside the envelope blank paper inside the envelope she looks and straight away she start feeling not normal dizzy heavy and she collapsed boom down the minute she gain back she gain back her consciousness and get strength she straight away ran to one of the sheikhs and the sheikh was a somali sheikh and the sheikh said this could be sihr if that's how you felt and he looked nothing there but he looked very far and he see some writing that you can not easily easily read and he took bukhur and he started smoking it until the letters coming out clearly and he says this is sihrul irsal black magic of sending to through the letter box and the sister allah has managed to for her to find the black magic and she destroyed the sheikh destroyed it and she got better through qiraat and everything and there was another sister who received exactly the same through the letter box a letter she opened it had a grid and symbols very bad symbols straight away she started having thoughts of evil thoughts the minute she got that letter and opening it evil thoughts of committing fawahish we ask allah to preserve our believing men and women our brothers and sisters out there so this one is a letter came from mulvi zab mulvi bazar in bangladesh in it there was this other letter inside bismillah as-sihrun allah sabutul sihrun 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 allah sabutul 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 he had this when i opened it and analyzed it he had that strength a string trapped up and this one well calculated and in it there's go these names he's got these numbers in the back grid and he's go in the beginning he says bismillahir rahmanir rahim and then he goes ya wakil ya wakil ya wakil ya salam ya fatah ya razaq so these are the names of allah rabbul izza the second is absolutely the same bismillahir rahmanir rahim ya wakil ya manan ya salam so these are the names of allah rabbul izza bismillahir rahmanir rahim sihr in allah sabutul sihr in allah sabutul sihr in allah has sayubutul sayubutul sabutul bismillahir rahmanir rahim فلما القوا قال موسى ما جئتم بسحر ان الله سيبتل ان الله سيبتل now the, these are the names of allah rabbul izza in the letters and the grids in the back is it correct to write it on letter and in on the boxes one who may ask himself is it correct The answer is no is not correct. Where is the evidence? The evidence is in the Quran. Now you may need to ask the person who wrote this is it correct for him to write this? And he will start bringing in stories, mumbo jumbos and fabricating it. But it is is it correct? No, it's not correct. Allah says in the Quran, A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Wa lillahi al-asma'ul husna fad'uhu biha. Allah and most beautiful names belong to allah rabbul izza so call upon him by them you call upon allah with his name this was his walillahi al-asma'ul husna fad'u biha call upon allah upon his name 
وَاذَرُوا الَّذِينَ يُلْحِدُونَ فِي أَسْمَاءِهِ سَيُجْزَوْنَ مَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ and leave the companions of those who the companions where they belie and deny and utter impious speech and utter and do wrong things with the name of Allah Rabbul Izza because their portion lies with Allah Rabbul Izza they will get they are Allah says sayujuzuna ma kanu ya'malun they will see what they were doing they will be required of what they used to do they will be held accountable of what they used to do mixing names of Allah with kufr and saying you can do it no you cannot do it absolutely you cannot we ask Allah to protect us and make it easy for the believing men and women so this is a lie and lie this is a ta'weez this is sihr the boxes and numbers why are they there they're there for deceptive method some may ask oh this name of allah so many will say oh this is go quran no quran you're not supposed to be hanging in your neck you're not supposed to write it and hang it in your neck. You're supposed to read it. Allah says, وَإِذَا قَرَأْتُ الْقُرْآنَ جَعَلْنَا بَيْنَكَ وَبَيْنَ الَّذِينَ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ Hijab. If you read the Quran, we'll put a barrier between you and the one who doesn't believe. And Allah goes and says another speech from the book of Allah is that the first word of the Quran descended to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa was what? اِقْرَأْ بِسْمِ رَبِّكَ الَّذِي خَلَقْ Read in the name of your Lord. So, two things you have to do one is read the quran if you go issues if you go want to be protected and everything read falak nas blow on yourself anatul kursi if you go spiritual issues the same method and another one the quran has emphasized has said in so many places qul id'u allah wa id'u rahman call upon allah and call upon the most merciful one so these two messages come together allah says in the quran again here is call upon allah in his names so calling upon allah on in his names beautiful names like razak and idris ya fatah ya the opener ya wahab the bestower you call ya jami' the one who gathers people ya jalil ya jabbar ya qawi ya matin 99 names of his call upon him on his names and you will be victorious not writing on fake letters and fake grids and symbol and if you've been given like this no for sure this is sihr the black magic of the letter box share it please and like it for the people to know abu yahya from the ruqya talk wa akhir da'wana wa salamun ala al mursalin walhamdulillahi rabbil alamin ta yatabayyana lahum annahu al-haq